in the, the run up to the 2018 election, a lot of what I would consider more mainstream, at least online sort of print outlets were very derisive of the Justice Democrats and our revolution and your, your chances and what impact you would have. That seems ridiculous in hindsight now. Uh, I did actually see very recently, um, Van Jones was, was on, uh, I think it was MSNBC, it might have been CNN, and was talking about how, how important your group has been, how he sees it as more powerful than the Tea Party was uh, at its peak. Do you believe that the narrative is shifting on people accepting the role that Justice Democrats and similar groups are playing? Absolutely. I think he actually is a contributor to CNN. So I, yes. I think that that's kind of where he was. But yeah, I, I absolutely think people are recognizing that. Look, I think uh, the leadership of the De Democratic Party is much older, it's much wealthier, it's much more white than the grassroots base uh, that I've, and progressive movement that we're creating, which is largely made up of young people, people of color, and working class people of all backgrounds. And so you have this generator generation of leadership that's in control of the Democratic Party that I think in a lot of ways Biden represents that is not only incredibly out of touch, but has also failed. They failed to stop Donald Trump back in 2016. They failed to solve or even attempt to solve the most fundamental systemic problems, biggest problems facing our country, like climate change, like income inequality, like mass incarceration. And you know we just can't count on them to lead us into the future. And I think Van Jones recognizes that the center of energy in the Democratic Party right now is around progressive policies like Medicare for all, like free college ending, mass deportation and mass incarceration. And you know a lot of the Democratic leadership right now is standing in direct opposition to that. And um, you know, I think in this political moment, people want to see uh, the creativity, the ingenuity, and the imagination of when you put, you know, the 330 million incredible people that make up the most world uh, that we can accomplish really great things. So I think people are starting to recognize that JD really is bringing out. Uh, the best in Democrats, where I think the Tea Party obviously brought out the worst in Republicans. And we believe that America's best days are in front of us, not just sort of managing our own decline or being the party of no, we can't. So we're super excited and humbled by the fact that we are actually getting uh, the attention of, of the really critical work and uh, that, we're, that we're doing. But it's also, we've been building for this moment for the past three years and we're really excited to, to share how that's culminating with the world. Uh, Alexandra Rojas, Executive Director of Justice Democrats, thank you again for joining us. Thank you. Thank you very much for watching this clip from the Damage Report. If you liked it, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and ring the bell on YouTube to get notifications of our new videos. And of course, you can catch the full Damage Report live every weekday at 1 p.m. Eastern, 10 a.m. Pacific on TYT Network on YouTube TV.